Hi, my name's Claire, and I have never been to IKEA. I'm 28 years old. I feel like I'm missing out on one of life's great experiences. I've never met anyone else who's never been to IKEA, and I'm getting paranoid. I think that it shows when people come to visit my house. I need some bright IKEA quirkiness. My friend Briar lives in IKEA. She also lives in Wales, which is quite far away from Scotland. She took the train up to see me in April. It took 16 hours. I don't think she'll be coming back again. My three-year-old loves trains. I think her dream day would be spent on a train. My dream day would be spent running around in a treetop village, swinging from house to house using hanging vines, or sailing in a huge boat off into the sunset. I really want to see the Northern Lights and visit Iceland. I did a school project in Iceland when I was about nine. I wrote to the Icelandic government or tourist board or something and they sent me back loads of information. Not that I can remember any of it. I'm not saying that I was a bad pupil who didn't listen. I just got easily distracted. School was a great place. I fainted in my third year biology class when we were making onion slides because I felt squeamish looking at cells. I'm really bad with needles and blood. I went through a stage of wanting to be a forensic scientist. I'm not sure why. It was suggested by the cruise advisor and I just kind of went along with it. When I was very young, I wanted to be a Formula One racing driver. I spent my Sundays watching Nigel Mansell and Damon Hill speeding around the track and I thought it was an amazing idea, brilliant career choice. I was devastated when somebody told me that women could not be Formula One racing drivers. Who makes these rules? So I got a job in a chip shop. And when I got bored of that, I worked behind a bar and hotel. And when I'd had enough of watching other people get drunk, I went to uni and I got drunk myself. Managing to leave with a degree, a car, and a baby? I cannot drive. I'm not sure why I bought that car. I do like to buy things that I do not use. I have a shoe collection. Mostly with their price tags all still on them. They're like expensive ornaments that are scattered around my bedroom. They give it some much needed colour that I can't get anywhere else. I guess this takes me back to the lack of Ikea-ness in my life. <laughs>